Broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. This is Pat Hennessy calling, uh, and I also have the pleasure of having Alicia Baruti on the line. She is the Bomb Bomb Account Executive and National Speaker that's going to be joining us today. And again, we can't thank you enough for joining us today. We know you have a lot of distractions going on. We have fires going throughout the state. We have uh, power outages. We have virus situation. I think there's locusts going to be coming tonight, but hopefully that's not that's not the case. Um, and you do again, we hope that you and your family are safe given everything that's going on. And we really want to focus on the things that we have control of today, and that is really how you can focus on your business given everything that's going on. And I think you're going to find this very valuable today because it's something new. And I've been asked a lot to say, how are brokers going about marketing today, whether it's renewals or it's new business, uh, when they can't sit down and have a face-to-face -face meetings, they're not doing lunches, they're not going ball games. Uh, how is this going to work going forward? And I think today we have a unique opportunity to share with you a different approach that hopefully uh, at the end of this you will adopt because it is going to be the future of selling uh, in this current environment. So with that, what we're going to do today is I'm going to take you through a top 10 list of everything you need to know for Q4. And you see that on your screen today. Uh, also today, just some sideline notes, wanted to make sure everyone knows if you do have a question, we do have the uh, questions. Um, it's a chat box. Please make sure you enter that in so that way we can go ahead and, and uh, we are leaving room at the end for any questions uh, or any chat items that do come up along the way. Once we do get started today, we do want to let Alicia get uh, through the presentation. So make note of any questions you have on the, um, the online feature there, and then we'll get to as many questions as time will allow. And then a copy of the presentation will be sent to you today, so you don't have to worry about taking feverish notes. All of the information today that you're going to see will be sent to you um, by the end of the day. So with that, the top 10 things you need to know as you're entering Q4. Uh, number 10 is that uh, we here at Bear and Purvis were very fortunate to have a large group contract with Anthem, Kaiser, and HealthNet. So when we do get one RFP, we do get you the three quote options available. And so we are quoting 1-1 one -one rates right now. So any groups that are over 100, please send the RFPs to us. We'd love the opportunity to work with you. We do have a subsidy available. And the nice thing about this is that any group that we do write with you, $4 will go per employee per month if it's a Kaiser only group, and $2.50 for both Kaiser and HealthNet. And this will allow you to go ahead and offset some of the expenses that you're incurring on behalf of your employees um, to be able to manage and maintain those groups. Number nine, Cigna and Oscar. This is the uh, latest buzz in the industry. Uh, we were hoping to have the rates available. The rates are gonna be coming out here shortly for 10-1. They're still being reviewed by the Department of Labor. So sit tight, as soon as that is released, we'll go ahead and let you know. And then we're gonna do a comparison to see how these rates compare to others in the area, just so you'll know exactly where those rates will fall. Number eight, Anthem Small Group. 6% commissions for 10 plus enrolled through January 15th. That is brand new. That is uh, the, the highest commission level of any group, um, small group carrier at the moment. So if you do have groups where Anthem is an option for you, please keep that in mind because that is a, a nice bump to your commission, especially now that we're going through a, um, a challenging time with employers. We are hearing from brokers that some of the business is um, reduced maybe 5 to 15% depending on the level of um, and, and the type of industry that brokers are in. So this is an option to hopefully um, increase and at least maintain those commission levels. Number seven, Kaiser. Kaiser is our number one carrier right now. Uh, they have done enhancements to the um, broker uh, page to manage those renewals and uh, view past transactions. So please click on that and you'll be able to see those enhancements. Number six, United Healthcare. United Healthcare, uh, we've talked about Canopy in the past, during this current um, pandemic, we're seeing a lot of employers looking for every way to save money uh, more than ever in the past. In the past, we had a lot of groups that would simply say, if I had a single digit increase, I'm going to take it, move forward. Now we're seeing a, a higher level of quoting simply because the um, employers are in a position where they need to, to bring down their costs. And healthcare, as you know, is one of the top ones. So hopefully um, with Canopy, that'll be an option to go ahead and provide that um, competitiveness because they are in the same range as Kaiser. Number five, CalChoice. 
as you all know, the big announcement this year as of 7-1 is that the full network Anthem PPO option is now in play. They do have three different options available for the full PPO prudent buyer, uh, not just the EPO. That is the gold 500, the silver 1700, and the bronze HSA 5400. One of the things we wanted to make you aware of is in the past, when you had groups that had employees outside of the state of California, we always put them onto the select or the advantage plan within Anthem. Now there will be a change. So any employees outside of the state of California will be transitioning to the Anthem PPO plan. And again, the plan design is the same. It is the prudent, um, it's the blue card network. The rates will go up. So just be mindful of that. You'll no longer be able to have any out-of-state employees with CalChoice on the Select or the Advantage plan. They will all be transitioning to the Anthem PPO at renewal. The rates will go up, but the network is exactly the same. It's blue card. Number four, Covered California. As I mentioned, uh, this is gonna be a challenging year for all of us. And so what we're seeing is that there's um, groups that are trying to transition into different um, plan designs. And as you know, you cannot go off California, uh, excuse me, Kaiser, unless it's the anniversary of the group. So now if you wanna move over, you can go from Kaiser to Covered California off the anniversary. So that is a, a great option as we we're looking for, again, alternatives for employers now during this crazy time. Number three is Aetna. And what's interesting is that Aetna had really only been competitive in the bronze arena. And now what we're finding for the first time is that small group uh, Aetna is, is very competitive, specifically in Contra Costa County and in Southern California. So in the past, we had a lot of folks doing the quoting. They didn't include Aetna. So we wanted to make sure, please make sure to include them specifically for groups in Contra Costa County because they have become very competitive uh, in that area. Number two, so Beer and Purvis, we now have capacity. We have our full team that's actually back in the office. Uh, we have um, maintained all of the, um, the state and local guidelines to protect our employees, making sure that we are maintaining all the protective masks and, and that's um, in our situation. And so the capacity is available and the, uh, the team is running at full speed at the moment. And we do have online enrollments through Ease at no cost to you. So please let us know. We are seeing a significant increase in the number of Ease enrollments because nobody wants to do paper. And so what you're gonna be seeing going forward, the online enrollment is gonna take a significant increase. Uh, everyone will be migrating to that and just at a, at a faster pace. So we do have a team available to help with that. So please let us know if, um, if you need assistance with that. And the number one item you need to know as you're entering Q4 is that virtual selling is critical and it's critical to your ongoing success. So I, again, I applaud everyone for uh, being on the line today for embracing this technology. Uh, anytime we, we go into a new space, uh, I always equate it to like an airplane when it goes up and ascends higher. You go through a, um, a level of turbulence, but we always uh, just ask you to fasten your seatbelt because once you get up higher, you're gonna level off. And having this virtual selling background that we're gonna to discuss today is really gonna put you in a, with a huge advantage over your competition and a great way to differentiate yourself and maintain that um, relationship with your client. So having said that, what I'd like to do is if we can go to the next slide, we will go ahead and transition over to Alicia, who is, we're very happy to have her with us today. She does these on a regular basis all over the country. And she's gonna share with you why BombBomb Bomb is a unique platform for virtual selling and why it's really important for you to give this serious consideration as you transition uh, throughout 2020 and beyond. So with that, I'd like to turn it over to Alicia. And again, if you have any questions along the way, please go ahead and put those into your um, questions or chat box. Alicia, go ahead and take it away, please. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Pat. I'm excited to be here. Um, like Pat said, my name is Alicia. I'm the national speaker at Bob Bomb, which is really just a fancy title that means I'm the evangelist. And part of what makes me a good evangelist for this is before I was the national speaker, I was a sales professional, just like you guys. And I got to experience on a regular basis how using video for sales changes the sales process. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, I know that for so many of you, 
you were used to selling in person. You were used to selling face-to-face, belly-to-belly, building those relationships that way. And so we're going to talk about that. Um, Our co-founder and president, Darren Dawson, I heard him talk about this on a podcast one time um, because our co-founders were salespeople. In fact, um, they were selling billboard advertising. And one of the things that they came across in their sales process was that the bigger their territory grew and the better job that they did at doing their job, they were getting less face-to-face time with their clients. And what Darren said on the podcast was, he said, I knew that if I was sitting across the table from them, they were buying from me. So the question was, how do I scale that, right? How do I get face-to-face with more people? And that's where Simple Video and Bomb Bomb really started from. It came from sales professionals, just like you guys, that we're selling face-to-face, belly-to-belly, and looking for a way to better scale it. So that we're going to talk a little bit about why video today, but most importantly, why this kind of video. And what we call this kind of video is video for relationships. Um, I'm going to show you guys five opportunities for video in your day-to-day, where video is going to be a benefit to your business. I'm going to show you how it works, because I know you might be thinking, okay, I am not interested in learning how to use a whole new tech platform, or, you know, it's easy. So I'm going to show you how easy it is, and then we're going to talk about working through our fear of video, because I have been doing this for a long time, and I happen to know for a fact the number one thing that keeps people from being successful with video is their own fear and uncomfortability. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that and then I'm gonna take time for questions. So we live in a very video-centric society right now, um, but it hasn't always been that way, right? Humans have communicated face-to-face for as long as we've been communicating. And in all of these developments in, in communication, have been to scale our communication, right? You think about um, writing letters or the invention of the telephone. These were all things that were invented to make it easier to communicate at scale. And so one of those developments in our communication was email. And email was very, very glorious for a while. Uh, Anyone remember how excited that you used to get to open an email about 20 years ago? When's the last time we felt excited to open email? So time has shifted. And we've seen video take over such a prominent space in marketing and business over the last handful of years. You look at Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or any of these social media platforms that started completely tech-centric. And then we've seen the shift towards more video and more video. In fact, Uh, An executive at Facebook said that he believes that by the end of this year, actually, that about 85% of everything on Facebook is going to be a video because it generates such great engagement. People want to watch video content. And now we've moved into different times. And, you know, we've heard, we've heard marketing companies be saying things like in these unprecedented times and times like these or now more than ever. And I know we're all tired of hearing these phrases, but what these phrases are telling us is that we've gone through another shift. You guys are experiencing it. It's why I'm here today talking to you about virtual selling, because the way that you've been running your business for the last handful of years has shifted. And now you've got to figure out how to sell in this new world. And we've seen this in so many industries that we work in where video has been a nice to have, and now it's almost a need to have. So, I mean, I'm talking real estate, insurance, mortgage, financial services, coaching, consulting, education, right? Our teachers, teachers that had never used video before in their entire life are having to learn how to teach remotely. So you guys are have an incredible opportunity, especially in your interest, industry, to be on the leading edge of using video in your sales process. So I just wanna show you some stats real quick on video. 64% of consumers make a purchase after watching a branded social video. of consumers, after watching a video on social media, 
feel like they have enough know, like, and trust with either that company or the influencer that was talking about that product to go ahead and make a purchase. So video provides a medium where you're able to build some of that know, like, and trust. 59% uh, of executives say they would rather watch a video than read a text. So let me ask you a question. You guys are reaching out to executives at, at companies talking about their health plans. 59% of those executives would rather watch the video than read that email. And then this last one is a big one as well. Viewers retain 95% of a message when they watch it in video as compared to 10% when reading it in text. So not only does this apply when you're talking about packages and procedures and rates and things like that, but even when you're talking about a relationship and saying thank you or reaching out and connecting with them in a more personal way, the simple fact of you sending that video as opposed to typing out an email, they're gonna retain that experience in a different way. And that's why we talk about this as relationships through video. Video for marketing is something that you guys probably aren't really focused on, right? Your company takes care of some of the marketing piece for you. What we're talking about today is using video to build relationships, to help you through your sales process, as well as maintain those relationships that are going to help you with renewals and help you lead a strong business. So. A um, couple things that I just want to touch on, which is why bomb bomb, as opposed to just trying to do this on your own. Because one of the questions that I get from people sometimes is, okay, Alicia, that's great, but we all have cameras on our phone. Why do I need bomb bomb? So I'm just going to talk to you about a few of the things. Number one, uh, videos are huge. If you've ever taken a video of the dog or your kids to send to grandma, and you've run into that situation where it says the video is too big, you have to trim it. Well, video files are very, very large. So if you recorded a video on your phone right now and tried to send it to a client, you would only have about 20 or 30 seconds and then it would tell you that the file was too big. And then once they get that file, if you tried to send it over email, well, they would have to download it because it would send it as an attachment and getting someone to download something is especially difficult as if it's not a document they're waiting for. So we don't, you don't have to worry about file size. They're essentially streaming the video from our servers. So all you have to do is record the video. You send it the exact same way as you would send any plain text email or text message. And then all they have to do is press play. And now you're speaking to them directly. You're not sending them to YouTube where they're gonna watch cat videos for the next hour. They're, you're not asking them to download a scary file onto their computer. All they have to do is press play and you get to speak to them directly. Another thing we do is we take the first three seconds of your video and we loop it into an animated GIF where you see uh, Melanie here holding up a piece of paper that says, hi, Mike. So that as soon as they open up their email, they'll even see that smiling face. Or if you've written their name on a whiteboard, which is something we teach you to do, they'll even see their name there. And then the last piece I want to let you know about is that we do tracking on everything that you send so that you know when people are opening your emails and playing your videos. As someone who was in sales, I cannot tell you how much I appreciated having that tracking information, especially when I was waiting for signatures on a contract, right? I send off a contract and then you, sometimes you never know, did they open it? Is it buried in their inbox? Do they have questions? Have they opened that contract multiple times and are picking over it with a fine tooth comb? The tracking information is gonna let you know when people are opening your emails and playing your videos, so that you can follow up with people when they're most engaged. I'm gonna tell you, as an account executive, I did this all the time. I would see someone open a contract that they were ignoring me on, and I would call them up on the phone and be like, hey, Tommy, I know you just opened the contract. Did you have questions? So I'm gonna jump into now the fun stuff, okay? I wanna show you guys five opportunities for this kind of simple video in your day-to-day -day workflow. Now. Um, your industry specifically is, is new to me. I've done 
uh, lots of sessions and classes for uh, mortgage lenders, as well as wholesale mortgage brokers, uh, insurance agents. So I've pulled some different examples from a few different industries because the methodology is the same. Even if it's not the exact thing that you would use it for, I hope that what you're gonna see in these next five opportunities is some inspiration for the way that you can get face-to-face -face with your potential clients and your current clients, how you can engage them in a more human way and you can do it safely, right? You're getting face-to-face, -face, but you're doing it over email. So the first opportunity that I wanna share with you is just video for relationships, right? Whether this is your current clients, those, those clients that you would normally be taking out to dinner or taken to ball games or sitting down in their office, this is a powerful way to get in front of them. One of the phrases that we've used at BombBomb for years is that video gives you the ability to be there in person when you can't be there in person. Well, where have we all found ourselves now? We're not allowed to be there in person. So it's gonna get, give you some of that same sense. The other thing that I love about this is that it gives you the opportunity to speak with empathy and humanity right? You get to show who you are and your care and your experience and who you are as an actual person in a way that a plain text email is never, ever going to deliver that human experience. And this is a powerful way for strengthening your client relationship. So uh, I'm going to play this video for you. My preface before I play this video is that GoToWebinar is not friendly with videos in slide decks. So you will hear the audio, the video is gonna look choppy and jumpy. I can assure you that this has nothing to do with BombBomb. Bomb. This has everything to do with the PowerPoint, the screen share and go to webinar, but you'll get to hear the audio and you will get to see it. It's just gonna be a little bit choppy. So uh, check out the way that he is using video to maintain his client relationships and show up with empathy and humanity. Hey, Cindy, it's uh, Mike here. Just wanted to check in and see how you're doing. The market for you, I'm sure, is changing by the second. Um, and I want to make sure that I'm changing what I'm doing to serve you as best I can right now. So tell me if there's anything specific that I can do for you that would be of service to you and maybe even in turn service to your clients. Just keep me posted. And if you don't kind of get back to me, don't worry about it. Just wishing you well. Hey Mike, it's Cindy. Thanks so much for reaching out. I really appreciate all the videos that you've been sending, all of the um, the one pagers. It's been really helpful to me to be able to uh, use that information to communicate with my clients while everything's been so crazy. So I just uh, would hope you'll keep it up because uh, the need is not over and I look forward to uh, seeing what you send next. Thanks so much. Right, I love that because he's really able to make a personal investment into her business, but he does it in a scalable way, right? He's not showing up her office at her office. He's not taking the drive time. He gets to send a quick video and just say, hey, I'm checking in on you, what can you do? So a couple things, because we are in unprecedented times, I'm gonna use that phrase. Um, normally when I'm doing sales training, I would tell you never to send a video saying I'm just checking in. However, as a country, we're in a unique situation and there's a really powerful opportunity for you to show up with the clients that have brought you business just to check in with presence, empathy, gratitude and service to say, hey, I'm thinking about you. How are you guys doing? Is there any way that I can serve you? This is a powerful, powerful way to maintain those relationships. And a couple notes on this kind of video for just staying face to face and strengthening those relationships, okay? Number one, your clients are still likely having less face to face interactions than they did before March, right? I know I don't know about you, but we're all working from home. Um, most of the people that I know in the business world have still all been working from home. So they're not having as many face to face interactions as they would have had before. Seeing your face in a video is actually going to be a positive experience for them because watching video of human faces 
stimulates serotonin production. Serotonin is that happy chemical in our brain. Watching videos with human faces stimulates that the same way as having a face-to-face -face conversation. The other reason why this is so powerful is because it's asynchronous, right? If you wanna get someone on a Zoom call, that's synchronous. They have to show up at the same time so that you can guys can have that video conversation, right? You gotta find a time that fits in everyone's schedule. But with Bomb, Bomb, it's asynchronous, meaning you record it, you send it off, and they get to watch it back when it makes sense for them, okay? So I have a client, Jason, told me that uh, he sent 45 in one week of these one-to-one -one just checking in. How are you doing? Is there anything I can do to you? Thank you for your business. How can I serve you, okay? 45 of those in one week. And that resulted in 18 returned phone calls from that simple video, okay? So powerful, powerful way to strengthen and maintain your relationships. Now, normally on this first opportunity, I would actually talk about lead conversion. Um, but I don't know how much of you got your business is coming from new leads, but I want you to think about this as well. The, the way that you can strengthen a relationship, it's just as powerful for building those relationships on the front end. When you send a video out to a client that you've never met face-to-face, -face, you're giving them the opportunity to meet you, to start to build some of that know, like, and trust before they're willing to schedule that Zoom call, before they're willing to actually make the time for you. You have a great opportunity on the front end of that relationship as well. All right, so the second opportunity that I wanna talk to you about is setting and confirming appointments. This is a great use of video. In fact, our clients tell us that when they use video for confirming appointments, it's increased their show rates by 58 to 71% just from sending a video. It's really easy to ignore a Google Calendar notification. It's hard to ignore a human face looking at you saying, I can't wait to talk with you, okay? This also gives you an opportunity to remind them what value you're going to give them by keeping that appointment. How is it going to benefit them? And it also gives you a powerful opportunity to reduce any anxiety that they might have about that meeting. If, they, if they're worried that you're going to hard sell them or that you're a pushy salesperson, sending that video for appointment confirmation lets them see you as a human being and make that connection with you as a human being instead of whatever idea they have in their head about what salespeople are like. Last thing here is that that tracking information is really valuable. I loved it when I was in sales because I would send an appointment confirmation video and when I was waiting for them to show up for that appointment, I would go check and see, did they play my video? Because if they played my video, I knew that the likelihood that they were gonna show up for that appointment was almost guaranteed. So I'm gonna play this video for you. Again, the video will be choppy, the audio you should be able to hear, but I also want you to see what he's doing with that whiteboard, right? He's writing the person's name on that so that as soon as they open their inbox, as soon as they open up that email, they see their name on that big video thumbnail right in their inbox, so they know this is a personal message for them. So check this out. Hey, Nathan Keegan from Outreach here. Hey, just wanted to confirm and thank you again for meeting with us tomorrow, Friday, around your lunchtime. So I actually sent a lunch gift card on us uh, for to keep you uh, you know full during the demo tomorrow. And just want a refresher of what we're going to show you. We're going to show you right here how it helps your team scale more revenue. Every day your reps are going to come in. They're going to know how many calls they need to do and when, how many emails they need to send out and follow up with, who, who they're meeting with. And uh, for me, I always get LinkedIn notifications on who I need to engage with. Man, I love that example for a few reasons. Number one, I love that he sent them a gift card in that email, contained in that email, so that he could buy them lunch. So they would be eating lunch that he bought for them before that meeting. Great, great customer service there. In addition to that, you saw that he switched over to our screen recorder, which is a built-in part of the platform, which brings me to opportunity number three, which is using video for presenting digital information or going over 
complex topics. I know that you guys, um, you know, have to go over online enrollment sometimes. The screen recorder gives you an opportunity to do that. It keeps your video down in the corner. It'll record anything on your screen so you can scroll through, highlight information. And this gives you the ability to communicate with clarity, bring your human context to that digital information as opposed to just sending an attachment in an email and then trying to type out directions. You get to walk them through it step by step as a human being, which leads me to the last point on this, which is it saves you a ton of time. It saves you time because you don't have to spend time on the phone trying to go over those details. It also saves them time because even if you did spend time on the phone going over important details in a contract or in an online enrollment form, what happens when they go back to do the online enrollment later and they don't remember what you guys talked about on the phone? They're going to have to call you back up or send you another email. But because you've sent it as an email, they can just go back and watch that video. Um, so really, really powerful. So I'm going to play this for you. Um, this is actually from uh, one of our insurance guys, um, and he's going over an insurance proposal with a client, and then he just sends it off right in that video using the screen recorder. So check this out. What's up, Andrew? I'm Matt Dietz with Farmers. We just spoke on the phone. I wanted to uh, send you this proposal and kind of walk you through it and so you know what you're looking at. So I drew up a pretty simple proposal for your business. And Farmers does something called a business owner's policy or a BOP. All right, it is loaded. It has a ton of coverage in it and it's real. it might be important to you. This one right here, business personal property, this is your stuff. Remember the thousand dollars worth of equipment that you said you needed coverage for? Well, the minimum in this policy is 2,500. So as you see, he's able to just go through that contract and highlight information for them line by line so they have all of the personal information there. All right, fourth opportunity that I wanna share with you is the ability to send in mass to stay top of mind with the people that you do business with, as well as to provide education. This is one of the areas that I see sales professionals using video in such a powerful way because they're positioning themselves as the expert. We see a lot of our clients do things like a quick Monday morning mojo message or a, um, you know, a, a Wednesday midweek inspiration or whatever it is. They're doing this on a consistent basis so that they are staying top of mind with the people that are building their business up. Plus the tracking gives you those insights to know who's paying attention to the communication you're sending on a regular basis so that you can follow up in more of a personal way. So um, this one is one of our lender clients and he does a, more, a Monday morning uh, video for all of his referral partners every single Monday just to stay top of mind. He stands out in their inbox from any other sales messages they're getting because he's the person that's sending them a video every single week. And as long as you really focus on providing value, if you focus your energy on being value centric, then they're going to keep opening those messages and coming back for more of that education that you're providing. So I'll play this one for you. Hey, everybody, it's Eric Peltier with Citywide Home Loans. Thanks for watching my quick Wednesday mortgage minute for May 1st. Can you believe we got snow on the flat irons for May 1st? Uh, first of all, uh, I'm again going to invite you to join me for the Tom Ferry event May 21st and 22nd. I am driving my big car down there. I'll have your favorite breakfast burrito and Starbucks coffee. I will park the car. I'll drop you off. Uh, I'll take care of navigation, all that great stuff. So I'd love to have you join me for that event if you got the time. Rates are still very good. I'm still quoting purchases and refinances in the low to mid 4%. Uh, you know, uh, we just keep riding this uh, wave of low rates as long as we possibly can. The real estate market, I would consider to be pretty robust. All right, the last opportunity I wanna share with you where video is gonna be a benefit in your day-to-day -day business is for consistent and personal follow-up. 80% of sales require five follow-ups, and yet 44% of salespeople give up after just one. And I love, love, love video for follow-up again, because human faces matter. 
we make decisions from the side of our brain that functions or system one that processes emotions and excitement and connected things. That's the way people make decisions. Even if you are dealing with the most analytical CFO that you have ever come across, they may think that they make their decisions based 100% on data. The science would tell you that we make decisions from the emotional side of our brain. And showing up in video for those follow-ups, make sure that they have a human connection to you, that they can sense your sincerity, your desire to help them. They sense your personality, your professionalism, all of those things that you're able to do in a face-to-face -face meeting that you just can't do over the phone and in plain text email, you get that with video. And it's such a differentiation from any other sales professional that they're dealing with. Hey there, David, it's Robin with Paysetter Homes out in the Oak Creek neighborhood in Leander, and I wanted to shoot you a quick email um, just thanking you for stopping by yesterday. It was a pleasure talking to you. I hope you had a great golf game, and I, I know you really liked the Morgan, but it seemed, as you said, like the Marston had an edge over the Morgan. So um, I'd love to talk further with you and, and see um, what you'd like to do. There are a couple other incentives that um, we've received that are in lieu of the ones I told you. So it's kind of what works better. All right. So I'm going to pause that right there. Um, and before we jump into this last section on working through our fear, uh, I am actually going to stop my screen share for just a second. And I want to show you guys how easy it is to actually do bomb bomb video. So uh, let me pull up my email here. I'm going to open just a compose window so that you can see this here. Okay. Let me move my panel and make this bigger. So we have a Chrome extension. And the cool thing about the Chrome extension is that it's going to let you record video from anywhere and then pop it into Outlook, Apple Mail, Gmail. If you're using a CRM, Salesforce, whatever it is, you're going to be able to put that video right into where you are normally communicating with your clients. So we do have a Gmail extension that puts video right inside of Gmail. But since I know that all of you are not using Gmail, I'm going to show you how you would do this with the Chrome extension, just the same as if you were using Apple Mail or Outlook or anything like that. So up here in my top right hand corner, there's a little bomb icon. And when I click on that bomb icon, it's going to pull up and launch our recorder. So you're going to see my video recorder pop on the screen here. There I am. Hello. Now I'm going to press this red record button, and this is where I would record my video. Once I press the record button, it gives me a countdown. Now it's recording my video. There's a timer down at the bottom that lets you know how long your video is. Best practices say you want to keep your video under a minute, unless, of course, you're going over uh, enrollments or contracts. And then that video can be longer because you're giving them information that they really, really need. Now, whenever you're done recording your video, you say whatever it is you're going to say, whether it's, hey, Tom, thank you so much for taking time to meet with me today. I really appreciated um, you carving out some time so we could talk about the options for health insurance in this next quarter or whatever it is. When you're done recording your video, you simply press stop. Um, you can name your video if you want. For the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to save it. And once I save my video, it's going to give me the option to either copy for email or copy link, okay? If you're putting this video into Outlook, Gmail, Hotmail, AOL, Apple Mail, then you're going to use the copy for email option. If you were going to send this as a message over LinkedIn messengers or Facebook messenger, then you would use the copy link option. But since we're talking about email, I'm going to copy for email, okay? I'm going to go here into my email and I'm simply going to paste and there's my video ready to send. It's just an email. So you have, you would put in your recipient's subject line text above the video. In fact, you always want to make sure that you do include text 
with the video to tell them to play the video. So something to the effect of, hey, Tom, it was great chatting with you today. I recorded you a quick video as a follow up to our conversation. Press play and let me know if you have any questions. Right. So just a little bit of text there to let them know that you recorded the video just for them and to press play. And it is just that easy. So I hope that you guys are feeling a little bit inspired and excited about how easy it is to use video. Um, last thing I want to talk about before we take some questions is working through this fear of being on video. Uh, like I said, this is the most common thing that I hear is this, you know, I'm just not sure about video. And for a lot of people, it's the, I don't like the way I look, or I don't like the sound of my voice. Mm, for some people, it's just the perfectionism, right? They, it's not that they don't like the way they look, but it's that they want every video to be perfectly polished and edited by a professional video editor. And they want, you know, their graphics flying in over them. And I would encourage you that perfectionism is actually a little bit of a trap. Your videos don't need to be perfect. In fact, the data shows over and over and over again, that videos that aren't perfect, that are more human actually perform a lot better. Um, I don't know what to say is a big one. The truth is, is that you do. Something happens when that camera turns on that people start to feel like they need a script. The truth is, is that you just talk into that camera lens the same way as you would if you were speaking to that person face to face. You know exactly what you would say. Video isn't any different. Ooh, this is a big one for my older demographic. Uh, this is new to me. I don't want to look silly. I don't do social media. I don't take selfies. I don't want to take videos of myself. Here's the thing. This isn't about a cool tech gadget. This is about getting you face to face because this is the way that business is run most effectively, right? Being connected with your clients is how you can sell most effectively. So this isn't about a cool tech gadget. This is simply about you being a human being. This last one I don't hear as often, but what if I get a negative response? I hear this from women sometimes. They're worried that if they send a video that they might have um, a client send something back commenting on their appearance or something of that effect. I will tell you, number one, that happens very, very rarely. I've never had a client tell me they sent a video and someone responded back with something mean to say. I have had uh, women say that they've had some harassing messages back, but wouldn't you rather know that at the front end of the conversation than getting into a business relationship with someone that you realize that isn't a, uh, the kind of person you want to work with? So there's some things there that I know um, might be questions in your head, but I just want to encourage you. Um, number one, this is normal, okay? You are not alone in feeling uncomfortable about getting on camera. In fact, this is the most human of all things. Almost anyone that you have ever seen on camera have had to work through some of their own uncomfortability about being on video. You want some proof? Here's some quotes from highly paid Hollywood actors and actresses about how they don't like watching themselves. I like to use Reese Witherspoon as an example here, right? We can all agree that Reese Witherspoon is an attractive human from an objective standpoint. And even she says, I don't know who feels good looking at themselves. Nobody, right? So I just want to encourage you, even people that you see on the big screen struggle with seeing themselves on camera. This is really, really normal, okay? The second thing that I want to encourage you with is the value that you bring to your clients and your referral partners and your company in the world is in who you are as a human being. It has nothing to do with how many gray hairs you have or how many wrinkles you have or how silly you might think it might be to send a video. The question is, is what kind of value are your clients going to miss out on if they don't have a chance to get connected to you? If they don't get a chance to meet you and see who you are and why they should work with you. So Oprah Winfrey, uh, she's worth about $3 billion, okay? 
Now, when Oprah Winfrey was offered the uh, Oprah Winfrey show back on WGN in the 80s, she was not comfortable with how she looked. In fact, Oprah Winfrey has had a very public battle with her own appearance and her weight. But Oprah decided to show up anyway. She decided to go ahead and show up on camera, even though she didn't feel 100% confident in how she looked. And guess what? If Oprah hadn't been willing to show up on camera, the world wouldn't have Oprah Winfrey and Oprah Winfrey would not have $3 billion, okay? So again, the value that you have to bring your clients and the world is in who you actually are as a human being and not in those superficial things that you are letting you keep yourself from doing video. The last one here that I just wanna remind you of is that we are all our own worst critics, okay? We all have this tendency to watch our videos and wanna pick them apart. So I would encourage you over and over and over again, don't watch your videos back. There is no benefit that comes from you watching your videos. You gotta think of it more like a voicemail, okay? You record it and you send it off. Now, you can re-record if you mess up. I'm not saying we don't let you watch your videos back. You can watch your videos back, but you're gonna fall into the trap that happens when you listen to your voicemails, right? You re-record it and you re-record it. And now you've spent so much time trying to make a perfect video when the truth is it doesn't exist. You get to be a real person, okay? All right, I'm coming to the end here and we are gonna take some time for questions, but I wanna leave you guys with a challenge. And before I leave you with this challenge, I wanna tell you about this study that Harvard and the Wharton School of Business did on the benefits of gratitude. Now, they weren't talking specifically about video. Um, they were talking about gratitude and communication, but the same principles apply to video. So what they did is they were in this research study is that they had sent out a whole bunch of emails asking for feedback on a cover letter. So all of the feedback had come back and now they divided this research group into two different sides, okay? The first piece of the research group got this email as the second email, okay? Dear name, I just wanted to let you know I received your feedback on my cover letter. I was wondering if you could help with a second cover letter I prepared and give me feedback. Cover letter is attached. Can you send me some comments in the next three days. That's what the first group received as the second ask, okay? The second group received the exact same email as the ask, except they changed one line. And the line they changed was they added, thank you so much, I am really grateful. That was it, okay? The two sets got the exact same email, except the second set had the one line, thank you so much, I am really grateful. And it increased compliance to that request by over 106%. This is what we call social capital. Practicing gratitude in your business increases your social capital, which means that people are more likely to do what you want them to do. So here's your challenge, okay? We offer a 14-day free trial. There's no credit card required. All you have to do is go to bombbomb.com, sign up for a free trial. In fact, over the course of that free trial, you will get a one-on-one -on -one call with one of our reps so they can answer your questions and show you around. They're gonna show you exactly how to do everything and set you up with some actionable items. But what I want you guys to do today is I want you to go to bombbomb.com and sign up for a 14 day free trial. And then what I want you to do is think of the names of three people that you can say thank you to, right? Just a simple, hey, I'm thinking about you. I'm grateful for you, okay? And I want you to send them a video today, all right? The free trial only takes a couple seconds. Recording a quick thank you video is not gonna take you a long time. And when you've done that, you are going to be amazed at the responses that you get from people, okay? Now, if you need a little help with the script, I'm giving you an easy script, okay? 
Uh, all it says is, hey, Tom, or whatever their name is, I was taking a class today and they challenged us to send a video to someone we were grateful for and you were the first name that came to mind. Right, that's it. Super, super easy. And you are going to see how people respond to video in a different way than they would respond to a plain text email, okay? So that's it. Bombbomb.com, sign up for your 14 day free trial, send three gratitude videos, and then you guys get to experience how positively people respond to this kind of video. All right, Pat, that's all I've got. What kind of questions do we have? Do we have questions rolling in? Yes, can you hear me okay? I can. Oh, great job. Thank you for covering that. It was excellent. I appreciate it. And um, one of the first questions was, is regarding security. So we are dealing with personal health information. We're dealing with things that are very classified. And um, there's a lot of security on computer systems to make sure nobody gets hacked or the information is not compromised. So when you're sending video, um, are people, because of firewalls and security, um, are you finding that there's a problem at some point? Point with um, the owners of these companies not allowing you to click on these buttons because their fear of viruses are spreading or anything like that? So, so rarely do we run into a lot of security issues. A couple things that I'll tell you there. Number one, we do have our SOC 1 and our SOC 2 security compliance. So from a, a data storage and security side on our side, um, we've got those compliances. Um, now, we have a uh, we are have a very like a high A plus rating or whatever with most of the spam um, filtering companies. Um, we are a reputable sender, so from time to time um, there will be some firewall issues, but we find that to be really really rare, honestly, um, because we have a reputable sending reputation because we have all of the security compliances now. Um, the two instances where we do run into um, security tr tr troubles are actual um, uh, medical companies like hospitals um, and uh, Department of Defense. So if your clients are if you, your clients are a hospital or um, Department of Defense, you may have some issues there, but for the most part, we don't run into a ton of that. Now, I will tell you, um, we are not HIPAA compliant, which means that you cannot, um, you cannot send personal health information through a video, but we do even have doctors that use our service. What they do is they don't send personal health information over videos. Um, we have a pediatric orthodontist who, before he meets his patients, before they come in for their first appointment, he sends a video just to introduce himself. So. Um, you know, the, the same rules apply, but here's the thing that's great. If you're using that Chrome extension and you are taking our video and just popping it into whatever email server that you're normally using, it's not gonna have any effect on your sending whatsoever. Very helpful, thank you. And the second one was as far as the cost goes. So if we do have uh, brokers that are interested today into purchasing a bomb bomb ac um, account getting that set up what does that cost $29.99 a month that's it there's no setup fees um, there's no you know get in at this price introductory and then we raise it it's just $29.99 a month um, and that's gonna give you the ability to do every single thing that I showed you today, plus some things you didn't even realize, like uh, having a video library where you can use pre-recorded videos for uh, things, you know, explaining uh, different proposals or things that you say over and over and over again. So that $29.99 a month will give you everything you need. And that is a monthly contract. They don't have to sign a year agreement, is that correct? Correct. Very good. The next one is regarding uh, best practices. And when you have backgrounds, um, some of the uh, brokers have virtual backgrounds with their company name on it. Are you finding that you're just better, just like you did? And thank you for sharing uh, with us. You're basically a real life scenario, which is, you know, this is my kitchen. This is what I'm experiencing at the moment versus having a professional background with your company name in the corner. So there's, 
There's some mixed debate on that. I will tell you my professional opinion, okay? My professional opinion is that solidarity goes a long way. And we're all working from home. We're all in the same situation. Obviously, you want to make sure that you don't have offensive things behind you or a lot of clutter in your background. But um, I actually encourage people, particularly with these kinds of videos, to not use a virtual background. Um, I think that being a human being goes a long way when it comes to connection. Um, now, when you're presenting, you know, sometimes if you're doing virtual presentations or, you know, a presentation to a whole company or something like that, it's nice to have a, a virtual background. But my personal preference for simple video for relationships is that it's all right to be a human being. They're probably working in their home too. And, I, and there was uh, another one who mentioned, you know, as we go through this transition, none of us were using really Zoom calls uh, a year ago. And look at how we're all become proficient at this virtual Zoom call. This is basically, would you equate it very similar to now if we started something like this? It's just another habit that once we get used to it, it's just going to become old hat like email. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Listen, I we have clients um, that <laughs> use this for almost all of their communication because the thing that you learn once you start doing it, once you kind of get over those initial fears, is that not only is it easier for you as a human being to re press a record button and say what you want to say, right? It saves you time. It's easier to communicate. But our customers consistently tell us that when they send a video instead of a plain text email, they get more replies. Their clients tell them that they feel more connected to them they get better reviews they get better responses because it's it's just human so yeah it does it just becomes a part of your regular just a part of your regular workflow i'll be honest i get frustrated now well i was going to say when i'm on an airplane but back when i used to travel all the time i would get frustrated if i was on an airplane and i needed to respond to an email and i would have to type it out instead of recording the video because it's so much easier to just say what you want to say instead of typing it so yeah it just becomes part of your normal and the last one they had was um the statistic that you referenced regarding follow-up um and and again what we find is that a lot of brokers are trying to generate um you know doing the cold calls and doing the follow-up and typically what happens is you know step one is you do the phone call step two you do the email and then you start struggling you don't want to be a pest you don't want to call multiple times so this actually adds another arrow in the quiver to to really give them a way to to break it up and so you not look like a pest because you're coming at it from another angle yeah. and that really i would i would think would be helpful and you mentioned how many um follow-ups before you finally get an um a connection with the prospect eight to twelve know. is what most sales eight to twelve, eight to 12. Okay. and and one Got of the it. things I would encourage you listen i do a lot of sales training and one of the things that i would encourage you in your follow-ups um is to focus on value right the if you can if you can provide an item of value in that follow-up the likelihood that they are going to be willing to open your next email or watch your next video or pick up the phone the next time you call increases. So, you know, it's nice to have that little, that, like you said, another arrow in your quiver. It's nice to have, you know, some arrows there that you can use on a regular basis. The, you know, hey, I thought you might find this article interesting, or, you know, I was, I, I saw this and I thought of you, whatever it is. Um, if you can really, really focus on value in those follow-ups, um, then you're not just the pestery salesperson saying, hey, you made a decision yet? Hey, you made a decision yet? That way you're actually providing something um, that shows that you're taking the time and investment into their business. Great. Thank you. Well, that was all the time we had today. Those were all the questions that came into our inbox. I wanted to thank you, Alicia, for spending the time with us today. I really appreciate it. Also, thank all the brokers that, that took time out of their busy schedule to join us today to learn about a new opportunity. And I do think if you're early adopters of this, this will really pay dividends down the road because sooner or later, this is going to become mainstream, just like the Zoom, Zoom calls. But again, the opportunity to start now and get out ahead and you become better at this and as was mentioned, we tried this, we, we tried to perfect it. You know, I was in a suit and jacket and tie and 
we had prompter and we were trying too hard to be perfection uh, perfectionists and it paralyzed our ability to, to generate um, quantity and so just from a personal experience we made it a mistake of trying to 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 make it look too professional and it really limited our ability to to use this so we're going to actually make it more real going forward and hopefully that'll actually increase the number of um of videos we'll be able to generate so i wanted to thank you for your time I want to let everybody know that we will go ahead and send this to you uh via email link later on today if you have any questions of alicia please let me know i'll make sure those get to her Please take advantage of the offer to go ahead and try the 14 day. Uh, I think you'll be very impressed because um, a year from now or two years from now, we're all going to be using it. So now is the time to, to, uh, to be an early adopter and get ahead of your competition. Thanks for your time. Be safe and appreciate uh, everyone joining us today. Take care. Bye-bye.